हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैं हूं आपका दोस्त महेश कुमार फ्रेंड्स आई स्टार्ट करते हैं दिस ड्राई सेचुरेटेड वेपर आफ्टर कंप्रेशन इन वेपर कंप्रेशन साइकिल ओके फ्रेंड्स व्हेन वी आर गेटिंग द ड्राई सेचुरेटेड वेपर व्हेन वी आर गेटिंग द ड्राई सेचुरेटेड वेपर एट द एंड ऑफ द कंप्रेशन देन इन दिस केस व्हाट इज द फार्मूला टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चंस वी विल सी फ्रेंड्स ओके सो One to two is the process in compression, and at the end of the compression, we are getting we are getting the point on the saturated vapor line. It means it is a dry saturated vapor at the end of the compression. Okay, because here you see this point lies on the saturated vapor line. It means at the end of the compression, we are getting. dry saturated vapor okay at the end of the compression we are getting dry saturated vapor now friends this wave, this refrigerant pass through the condenser then again it will pass through the expansion valve and evaporator okay here it will absorb heat 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 addition is there and in condenser heat rejection is there okay this is the heat rejection getting friends so we have to find for solving the question we have to find the enthalpy at each and every point okay so enthalpy at point 1 enthalpy at point 2 enthalpy at point 3 and enthalpy at point 4 here you see friends enthalpy at point 3 and enthalpy at point 4 is same okay because here you see in ph diagram this is the 1 to 2 is the process in compressor and here you see this is the dry saturated line because it is lies on this line okay then here this this point is the point 3 is point 3 is what friends point 3 is lies on the saturated liquid line it means the refrigerant is fully liquid at this point okay and 3 to 4 the enthalpy is same 3 to 4 enthalpy is same then again here it will pass through the evaporator at constant pressure and it will absorb absorb heat okay and here it will reject heat getting friends now how to find the enthalpy at each and every point if you find the enthalpy then we can solve easily the problems friends you see here in vapor compression refrigeration cycle with dry saturated vapor after compression in this what is the compressor work what is the compressor work first point is that what is the compressor work so compressor work is what friends compressor work is what enthalpy at point 2 minus enthalpy at point 1 okay so h2 minus h1 h is the enthalpy so point 2 minus point 1 enthalpy at point 2 minus enthalpy at point 1 it will give the compressor work okay so compressor work is work equal to h2 minus h1 enthalpy at point 2 minus enthalpy at point 1 now what is the refrigeration effect what is the refrigeration effect friends refrigeration effect is equal to enthalpy at point 2 sorry enthalpy at point 1 minus enthalpy at point 4 okay so this this process will give the refrigeration effect whatever process is there in the evaporator it will give the refrigeration effect getting friends so enthalpy at point 1 minus enthalpy at point 4 since enthalpy at point 3 equal to enthalpy at point 4 s3 is equal to h4 so h1 minus s3 or h1 minus h4 will give the refrigeration effect getting friends so refrigeration effect is equal to what h1 minus h4 or h1 minus s3 now third point is that cop what is the coefficient of performance what is the coefficient of performance friends coefficient of performance or cop equal to 
रेफ्रिजरेशन इफेक्ट अपॉन वर्क इनपुट वर्क इनपुट मीन्स कंप्रेसर वर्क ओके रेफ्रिजरेशन इफेक्ट मीन्स दिस एच वन माइनस एच फोर इज द रेफ्रिजरेशन इफेक्ट एंड वर्क इनपुट इजल टू एच टू माइनस एच वन ओके सो सी ओ पी इक्वल टू रेफ्रिजरेशन इफेक्ट एच वन माइनस एच फोर और एच वन माइनस एच थ्री डिवाइड बाई कंप्रेसर वर्क और वर्क इनपुट एच टू माइनस एच वन एच टू माइनस एच वन गेटिंग फ्रेंड्स सो वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज कंप्रेसर वर्क वॉट इज रेफ्रिजरेशन इफेक्ट वॉट इज सी ओ पी ओके सो सी ओ पी अप टू दिस इट इज क्लियर सो वी हैव टू फाइंड ईच एंड एवरी पॉइंट दिस इंथेलपी एट पॉइंट वन एंड थल्पी एट पॉइंट टू एंड थल्पी एट पॉइंट थ्री एंड एंड थल्पी एट पॉइंट फोर हियर इफ यू नो थ्री देन फोर वील नो ऑटोमेटिकली बट हाउ फ्रेंड्स we can find here at this point because the value has given the value has given on the saturated vapor line the value has given saturated liquid line but how can you find at this point how can you find this this point so how to solve this one see here friends now the concept of entropy will come here okay concept of entropy will come here i will tell friends when we solve the questions then we can find the and en en enthalpy at point 1 how friends you see here see at point 2 since it is a saturated vapor line the value has given okay the value has given at this point so here enthalpy has also given here entropy has also given okay so entropy at this point is equal to entropy at point 1 so here this entropy at point 1 equal to entropy at point 2 okay getting friends so here entropy is constant because it is a constant we can say i said tropic process so in isotropic process entropy is constant so whatever entropy at point 1 it will equal to the entropy at point 2 okay so same thing here entropy at point 2 equal to entropy at point 1 getting friends now how can you find here the concept will come friends since since here this point is inside inside in this region so here the dryness fraction concept will come okay so how much dryness fraction is there at this point we will find okay how we will find friends see here we know that s2 is equal to s1 entropy at point 2 is equal to entropy at point 1 okay now entropy at this point how can you find entropy at point 1 equal to entropy at this point plus entropy at this point plus dryness fraction at this point x into entropy at this point minus entropy at this point okay like here you see entropy at point 1 means this is the s f One, okay. Entropy at this point, entropy at this point is equal to S F one. Entropy at this point is equal to S G one. Okay. Getting friends. Getting. Entropy at this point is equal to S F one. Entropy at this point is equal to S G one. Let's suppose at point one, dryness fraction is equal to X. okay at point 1 dryness fraction is x so entropy at this point entropy at point 1 entropy at point 1 is equal to s1 equal to at entropy at point 1 equal to sf1 entropy at this point okay entropy at this point 
एस एफ वन प्लस ड्राइनेस फ्रैक्शन एट दिस पॉइंट बिकॉज वी आर वी वॉन्ट डेट एंट्रोपी एट दिस पॉइंट एस वन सो इट इज इक्वल टू एंट्रोपी एट दिस पॉइंट एस एफ वन प्लस ड्राइनेस फ्रैक्शन दिस इज द ड्राइनेस फ्रैक्शन एट पॉइंट वन इन टू एंट्रोपी एट दिस पॉइंट एस जी वन माइनस एंट्रोपी एट दिस पॉइंट एस एफ वन ओके सो दिस इज द एंट्रोपी दिस इज द एंट्रोपी एट पॉइंट वन ओके नाउ सिंस पॉइंट टू वी कैन फाइंड द एंट्रोपी डायरेक्टली सो इट इज गिवेन इन द चार्ट एस टू वैल्यू हैज गिवेन वट एवर वैल्यू इज देयर इन द सेचुरेट पेपर लाइन इट हैज गिवेन इन द चार्ट पेपर so from there we can find the entropy at point 2 and it is equal to entropy at point 1 and we know that entropy at point 1 is equal to how much sf1 plus x into sg1 minus sf1 and we know that friends at this line and at this line entropy has given in the chart paper so from there we can find okay so from here we are able to find this dryness fraction getting from here we are able to find this dryness fraction x and again we have to find the enthalpy at point 1 how can we find this h1 equal to same thing enthalpy at this point okay enthalpy at enthalpy at this point it is h f1 f1 means what friends f1 means fluid or saturated line okay so enthalpy at this point plus dryness fraction into enthalpy at this point saturated vapor line hg1 minus enthalpy at enthalpy at point 1 H F one. So from here we are able to find the enthalpy at H one. H two we are knowing H one we can find from here. Okay. S three it has given on the chart paper. Friends, what happened? Again I repeat. In chart paper, or we can say the value has given in the chart. at this line saturated vapor line and saturated liquid line okay like here like this friends this is one of the question this is one of the question from here you can understand easily question is a vapor compression refrigeration work between the pressure limit of 60 bar and 25 bar okay 60 bar and 25 bar the working fluid is just dry at the end of the compression so point lies on the saturated vapor line because it is just dry and there is no under cooling it means the point is lie on the under cooling means no under cooling means point is lie on this point okay so this this value and this value it is same the working fluid is just dry at the end of the compression and there is no under cooling of the liquid before the expansion valve determine cop of the cycle capacity of the refrigeration if the fluid flows is just the rate of 5 kg per minute data has given now friends just understand the data has given okay i will make this let's draw this on the ts diagram then it will be clear okay this is the temperature this is the entropy okay friends now 
this is the saturated liquid line then this is the critical point then this is the saturated vapor line okay this is the saturated liquid line okay this is the saturated vapor line getting friends this is the critical point this point is the critical point this line and this line now friends it is saying that it is saying that the vapor compressor efficient work between the pressure limit of 60 bar and 25 bar the working fluid is just dry so here you see it is just dry means the point lies on this saturated vapor line okay so this is the compression work 1 to 2 and this is the 25 bar and this is the 60 bar line okay this is the 60 bar line here this is 60 bar and this is the 25 bar pressure line okay now this is the just dry point the end of the compression and there is no under cooling it means point lies on here this is point 3 point lies on saturated liquid line okay and this is the and this is the constant enthalpy line so this is point 4 getting friends understand this is point 1 point 2 point 3 and point 4 this is in the compressor this is in the condenser this is the expansion valve and this is the evaporator here heat addition is there and here heat rejection is there okay friends now here you see friends now coming to the chart coming to the this data has given so at 60 bar data has given and 25 bar data has given okay two data has given here at pressure 25 bar and at pressure 60 bar getting friends now we have to find just understand this data 60 bar saturation temperature has given 295 and 25 bar saturation temperature has given 261 okay now here you see enthalpy enthalpy at liquid and vapor it has given okay enthalpy here you see friends enthalpy kilojoule it has given and entropy value has given okay things is clear enthalpy has given and entropy has given enthalpy is equal to liquid and vapor entropy liquid and vapor okay getting friends enthalpy liquid and vapor and entropy liquid and vapor <coughs> Sorry. okay friends so here you see Okay, friends, let's clear visibility. See here, friends, liquid means this saturated liquid line. Okay, liquid means saturated liquid line and vapor means this saturated vapor line. Okay. Okay, friends, here also this liquid means saturated liquid line 
and vapor means saturated vapor line. Now the value has given here liquid. Okay, this is enthalpy liquid at 60 pressure. Okay, 60 pressure liquid value has given 61.9. So H3 value is equal to here. S3 value is equal to 61.9 kilojoule per kg. Okay. And here you see vapor line. So at 60 vapor is value has given 208. So here S2 value has given 208.1 kilojoule per kg kg because we are seeing at 60 bar pressure at the condenser pressure okay so at 60 bar liquid enthalpy is equal to hf in s3 value has given 61.9 and at 60 bar 60 bar vapor value has given 208.1 okay s2 value is equal to 208.1 kilojoule per kg okay friends so this value has given this value has given now here we don't know h1 and we know that friends this s3 is equal to h4 so this value also we are knowing okay s3 is equal to h4 so this value is equal to this value and this value so H, H2 we are knowing, S3 we are knowing, H4 we are knowing, but H1 we don't know. Then how can we find this H1? How can we find this H1 man? Friends, for this entropy and dryness fraction concept will come. Okay. We know that entropy at this point is equal to entropy at this point. Now here you also understand friends, at 60 bar, Liquid means entropy at this point has given 0 0.197. Entropy at this point. Okay. Entropy at this point, saturated vapor line 0 0.703. So at point 2, at point 2, entropy is equal to 0 0.703. Okay. 0 0.703. This is the entropy at point 2 but what is the entropy at point 1 we don't know then how can we find here entropy at point 1 for this what is the entropy at this point entropy at this point friends because this is the 25 bar pressure this is 25 bar pressure we have to find here this sf1 value has given how much SF1 value has given how much friends minus 0 0.075 okay so entropy at this point equal to entropy at this point equal to SF1 minus 0 0.075 now entropy at this point how much is there this saturated vapor line at this pressure we will go on the vapor line so at this pressure 25 pressure 25 bar pressure we will go and find entropy at vapor line so here sg1 equal to 0 0.896 okay 0 0.896 now friends from here we will find the entropy so s2 s2 we are knowing 0 0.703 equal to it is equal to s1 because here you see friends entropy at this point s2 is equal to s1 okay s2 is equal to s1 so from here we will find friends getting friends so from here we will find see s2 is equal to s1 and s2 is equal to this 0 0.703 okay 
now s1 s1 value we know that s1 is equal to entropy at this point s1 this is the entropy at s1 so entropy at this point s1 equal to sf1 entropy at this point plus dryness friction dryness friction at 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 one dryness friction is there in bracket entropy at this point sg1 minus entropy at this point sf1 so from here from here friends we know the value of sf1 we know the value of sg1 we know the value of sf1 here so we can find we can find the value of dynas friction okay dynas friction the value we can find getting friends and after this we have to find the enthalpy at point 1 okay so enthalpy at point 1 is equal to what again h1 equal to again friends h1 equal to c at this point at this point getting friends at this point enthalpy at liquid point how much is there enthalpy at this point 25 bar pressure enthalpy at the liquid line how much is there 25 bar pressure 25 bar pressure enthalpy is equal to this one so at liquid point at this point enthalpy is equal to minus 18.8 okay now at vapor line enthalpy is equal to on this pressure 25 bar pressure enthalpy is equal to 234.5 okay getting so here i will explain again here friends you see here you see friends enthalpy at hf of hf1 this value is equal to hf1 hf1 value is equal to hf1 value equal to how much hf1 value equal to this one this one hf1 is equal to minus 18.4 and hg1 value equal to hg1 value is equal to at this point enthalpy is equal to 234.5 okay so enthalpy at point 1 is equal to hf1 plus x into hg1 minus hf1 and we know the dynamic friction from this point from entropy dynamic friction we already find then we will put this dynamic friction here and from here we are able to find the enthalpy at point 1 okay so we know the enthalpy at this point also this enthalpy at this point also we are able to find then we can find easily friends <coughs> then we can find easily all the parameters we can find because we know the h1 value we know the s2 value we know the S3 value. So from here, compressor work we can find. Refrigeration effect we can find. COP we have to find. Okay. So all this we will find. Getting friends? So friends, my explanation is good. Please like, kijiye, comment. Kijiye. My channel to subscribe. Kijiye, friends. If you have point of friends doubt, you can ask me in the comment box. Sakte I will try to explain again. Just concept is there. How can you find the value of S2? How can you find the value of H1 and H3? So that compressor work, refrigeration effect work we can find. Then 
COP we can find. Okay, friends. So, friends, thank you.